Today, we're going to show you how to do some noodling for big flatheads of blue catfish. Woohoo! Woohoo! When you're noodling, there's going to be two main species you're going after here, then there's flatheads and blues. Uh, oh, they're standing on a catfish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't there a small one right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A pretty right small there. one, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hey, we know where the catfish are, that's all I gotta say. And so the flatheads, you know, they'll nibble you sometimes, but the blues, if you see a blue under there, it'll smoke your hand real quick and just lock on for life. But the great way to find a noodle spot is just get like a big floaty tube, just float down the river with a pair of goggles. Any spot that looks good, like right at the base of a rapid that gets deep. So like Luke said, that's how we found most of our noodling spots, just doing long trips and swimming and getting out with your goggles, looking under rocks. You really gotta get under rocks if you look at it how we're noodling them you've got to get your eyes under the rock so you can actually see the fish if you just look from the outside you aren't gonna be able to see them and so the equipment you need is really simple a pair of gloves and some goggles and then we use a landing net once we get the fish to the surface um, this just helps increase our chances of catching them because they're wiggly little things and they'll try and get off your hands I even lost the grip on one of them and they'll come up I had to grab them with my thighs and then get rid of them again so they're squirming little things and it's really good to have an extra propeller. It's just a blast swimming out here. Like we said, let's get a tube, go exploring. You never know when you might find them. You might find a honey hole like this, when there's literally like 300 catfish in about a 50 yard area, baby. <laughs> and so we're just gonna walk you through. We're gonna do some noodling, give you a couple tips along the way, and have a good time while we're at it. All right, now we're gonna give you an inside look of where these fish are. Right next to the rapid, this is exactly what we were talking about. Deep rocks, good rapid, slack water. And when you find your spot, grab a pair of goggles, you can float it down, check it out, and then you can really make sure the spot you found has all the ingredients. Just make sure you go in and check it out. When you see a catfish, you know you did the right thing, you know what to look for, you're good to go. Just gonna go over the technique, go under, put my hand into the hole, it'll bite on me, grab his lip, Bring my other hand in and pull them out. Some people when they noodle, they go in for the gill, but that hurts them. And we're just doing catch and release. So we're just getting them by the lower lip. It's easier for them to twist off, but we don't want to injure them. I'll take you down real quick. <laughs> I was I grabbed him by the fence. That's how it's done. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> <Big slap. laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put him back now. Right back to his hole, right? We've only lost two or three friends to this activity. <laughs> it's just something you gotta accept the risk, guys. <laughs> All right, so some people put like artificial boxes and stuff into the creeks and rivers to attract catfish. So here's an example. This is just a tire that's randomly there. But you see all the catfish. There's like three or four catfish right in the middle of it. Go check it out, but it just shows you they love structure, artificial or real. But go check out this tire. And so we're going to have Diogo go in from the other side and get in their mouths. We see their tails and hopefully we'll get one. This guy got stuck in the tire, so I just decided to pull it out the tire, and out came this guy with him. He was rattling around with it. <laughs> I can't believe we got him. There we go. That's Tire Daddy. We call him Goodyear, baby. Yeah, it is Goodyear. 
Yeah. We're gonna clear out the tire from that hole. This is obviously trash. So, and you know, you know, I don't want a catfish getting stuck up in there like that one did and dying. So, we're gonna go put them on the shore real quick. Buy a tire. All right, a good tip: if you want to preserve your hands, you wear gloves. Otherwise, they got sandpaper teeth, and they will just like tear your hands up if you're not wearing gloves. Thank you.